Iowa will receive the opening kickoff. Now back deep to receive the kick. It's going to be Fred Russell and Jermel Lewis. There's a look at number two. Fred Russell telling me before the game, he remembers that C.J. Jones last year against USC ran back the opening kick in the Orange Bowl to put Iowa up 7 to nothing. He's going to try and duplicate that feat here today. And we are underway in the Outback Bowl. Russell at the 16. And Russell brought down at the 27 and 9 yard return. Corey Bailey making the stop on the play. Nathan Chandler, 6'7 senior, is the starting quarterback for the Iowa Hawkeyes, a, a conference all academic member, and he writes a lot of music. He's a pianist, actually, going to try and conduct a uh, concerto today against the opposition. Fred Russell on the run back moments ago, over 1,200 yards rushing this season. First down and 10 for the Hawkeyes on the 27-yard line. Iowa has been very proficient on offense over the last couple of years. And they're opening possessions. It's Fred Russell between the tackles. Russell. The deuce is on the loose early. Russell. And the Florida side of midfield was tackled by Corey Bailey. By Robert Gallery, the winner of the Outland Trophy. Robert Gallery, Mark. You said it, the Outland Trophy, the best offensive lineman in the country. Three receiver formation. Chandler on the play action. That's something that Iowa likes to use a lot. Columbus, Ohio native, playing his last game in a Florida uniform. Second down and 10. Here's the zone play. Lewis made a couple of tacklers miss, then stacked up. Five games. That says it all for the direction of this Iowa football program. Third down and 12. Out of the backfield, Cervantes. Edgar Cervantes. The senior brought down about a couple yards shy of the first down. New freshman quarterback Chris Leak in a situation of coming off his own end zone, Mark. Bradley with 15 kicks inside the 20 on the season. This one going a little bit long and strong into the end zone over the head of Vernell Brown. A 40-yard punt, nothing on the return, but just a 20-yard net. No Florida wide receiver on the first team all SEC offense. Here's the bubble screen and it's incomplete drop by OJ Small. That's a play that we're going to be seeing quite frequently this afternoon. And Howard Hodges, number 48 from Iowa. That's an interesting matchup today between he and Max Stark. Florida keeping the tempo relatively quick. The pass complete on the sidelines. They like to stress tempo. Kite with the catch. Here's the rest of the Iowa defensive front, 21 sacks between those two ends. Those are two good defensive ends, Mark. A little bit undersized. But I think the strength of this Iowa defense are these three linebackers. They don't play much substitution defense. They keep the linebackers in there. Keep your eye on number 33, Bob Sanders. He will put a lick on you. Florida looking at third down and five on its opening series of the ball game. Leak out of the shotgun. Pass complete to Carlos Perez. Went into that home. A lot of love in that family there, as you noted earlier. Perez learned to speak English by watching Sesame Street as a youngster. This is Mason. Finding a hole over the right side of that offensive line. Got a good block from Lance Butler. Everything at the line of scrimmage. A remarkable story in college football this year. True freshman, just 18 years old. Leak back to pass, completes it again to Perez at the 43-yard line. He was working on Antoine Allen. He's American Republic. He's turned out to be a darn good football player for Florida. On the option at the boundary, they run the ball. Faison brought down right at the line of scrimmage. A half, 10 to go. Broad play, that's Carthen between the tackles. Rand Carthen got about three yards. Jared Klaus making the stop. And five for the Gators. Take a look at that red line. That demarcates the line of scrimmage. Leap. Incomplete intended for Kelvin Kite. This punt team, they have a chance to get some return yardage. Eric Wilbur standing on his own 45-yard line for the Gators to punt. Eric Gossman is our man in the white hat today on Arizona. Fourth and five, Ochoa watches it sail over his head. And into the end zone. 
But keep in mind, they played so against some darn good running backs this year. You got that. First down and 10 from the 20 yard line. Iowa's second possession of the game. Fred Russell bouncing it outside. If they can run the ball, it'll set up their play action. It's their same 5 8. Now. <laughs> Very durable at his size. Play fake. Chandler under heat, and Mo Brown makes the catch. It's down in 10 for the Hawkeyes. Brown in motion. They run it. This is Lewis in the ball game for Russell. And Lewis is stocked up just over the 35 at the 37 yard line. Remember November? Bowl season, they remember these January 1st ball games. So there's a lot of ball left for the Big Ten. But right there, I think I jinxed <laughs> right. Mo Brown. Got friends and family at this game. Third down and nine for the Hawkeyes. Chandler brought down to the 31 yard line by Bobby McCray. But that time, it was a twist stunt, and Iowa didn't pick it up schematically. Well, not an easy guy to bring down most times either. Here's Bradley with his second punt, and it's a good one. A spiral back to the 21. On the move, it's Vernell Brown again. He's on the scoreboard. Florida with his second possession of the ball game. Play fake by Chris Lee going up top. Has a man wide open. Tight. Touchdown, Florida. 70 yards. Kelvin Kite, the third touchdown catch of the season, the sixth of his career. One of the 22 seniors playing his final game here today for the Gators. And Matt Leach comes in for the extra point. Mark, do you think football 101 should have been Florida's play action pass? <laughs> Good point. And that one kind of takes the winds out of your sails if you're Iowa. There's Fred Russell. Also doing a nice job on special teams since running back kicks. The open inside or split inside, Mark, sucking up on that run fake, and the receiver's getting in behind him. Pass intended for Mo Brown on first and ten, Bob. Defensively, but there won't be any panic in Kirk Ferentz and his staff. On second down and ten, Brown in motion. Handed off to Fred Russell, got a gaping hole. Russell into the secondary. Down to the 34-yard line, finally tackled by Corey Bailey. Disruption by Corey Bailey, the strong safety, to slow Fred Russell down. Look at Russell just dancing between those tackles. Players, Mark, to the game with academic problems, disciplinary problems, NFL and agents talking to older players. Get all your players to the field. There's the jailbreak screen by Iowa down to the 25. Mo Brown in Tallahassee, third down and short. And they got the first down. Chandler keeps it himself, crossing the 25. Things with his legs, a flashy style player that people love watching. Chandler more of a true, big, strong, drop back type quarterback. Jamel Lewis on the handoff. Iowa gashing that Gator front. Down and goal to go for the Hawkeyes. Russell stopped on a dime. Down to the three yard line. Inside the red zone. Play fake. The throwback incomplete for the tight end, Tony Jackson. The field with four receivers, the ninth play of the Iowa drive. Mo Brown in motion. Touchdown, Mo Brown. But it wasn't Colm, and that's a touchdown for Iowa. Great drive right there, answering the challenge from Florida. Certainly important for them to answer. Blast by Florida. Andre Caldwell slips at the 10. Let's go downstairs to Holly Rowe. Outback Bowl people have done a wonderful job making us feel at home as well. First down and 10 for Chris Lee. Is the bubble screen 
to Carlos Perez. It's a mismatch for smaller defensive backs in the open field. And back to the action after the 22, it's Rand Carthen. Those values of being unselfish and being patient. First down and 10, the draw play. And it's Carthen again. Freshman quarterback once again orchestrating this spread no huddle offense. Leak. Kind of hesitated before he let it go intended for Dallas Baker. The tight end, 255 pounds, flexed out for Florida. Leak forced to run, and he can do it well. Tackled near the 30 by Abdul Hodge. And forced Florida to punt this football. Second punt of the day by Wilbur. Driving Ochoa back to the nine, Ramon Ochoa. A wonderful special teams player. Somebody lost their hat down there. Now Chandler audibly at the line. Senior gets him into a good play. <laughs> but a better play made on the end by number 31, Johnny Lamar, the starting corner. Second down and 11. Here's the zone play, Freddie Russell. Trying to get to the edge. And a rock out of bounds by Demetrius Webb. All team. Iowa, not as explosive, but extremely well coached and solid. That red line is our line of scrimmage. On third down, complete to Ed Hinkle, who's been relatively conspicuous by his silence for most of the season, but making a little noise here today. Horse is ready. First down and 10 near midfield at the 49. Play action pass, complete to a wide open Brown. Mo Brown, Mo Betta, down to the 35, and another first down for the Hawkeyes. Winning today is critical for both these teams. And Kiwan Ratliff back on the field for Florida for the first time. Did not start because of violations of unspecified team rules. He had started 23 straight games, so you know how devastating it was for him to not start his 24th straight game. Chandler out of the shotgun. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line, five yards short of the first down by McDonald and Harris. And he has been perhaps the most consistent kicker in the nation over the last two seasons. Like I said, his signature is consistency. Nate Kading, the senior, knocks it through from 47. Games in December and January. Yeah, Holly Rowe talked about uh, they painted the field of an eye. I'm sure it wasn't looking as good as this one here. This is Deshaun Wynn with his first carry of the ball game. And I guess we'll find out. Iowa here for the first time, but a focused football team. Trying to set up the screen, Bob, is Chris Leak, and it's broken up. Intended for Deshaun Wynn, Matt Roth breaking it up. Matt Erskine. Leak completes it to Deshaun Wynn, who falls down seven yards short of the first down. Make you be patient, play a lot of zone coverage. And Wilbur Bob gets it off under heat. Ochoa fielded it off the back of one of his teammates, and Ramon Ochoa is tackled at the 47 yard line. And but Gallery holding it down on the left side of that offensive line for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Play action fake. Hinkle, complete, great execution once again, down to the 35. To the inside of the football field to defend. First down and 10. Jamel Lewis trying to cut it back, and then goes north-south, plowing forward down to the 30-yard line. And wear my hair long and wear those earrings <laughs> like that, too. His dad doesn't mind, that's what he says. Here's Jamel Lewis, couldn't get to the edge, pushed out of bounds at the 30-yard line. That's a big cat. <laughs> Third down, they're three of six on third down conversions. Chandler deceptively elusive and a smart throw to Ramon Ochoa for the first down. Deep back out of the eye. Lewis stopped up at about the 23 by Channing Crowder. Second down and nine. Blitz and backside pressure. Chandler to Hinkle. 
Close to another first down at the 16-yard line. The community College third down and short. Lewis got the first down and then some. In Michigan, they've played Ohio State, so they've seen some talented football players on that opposite side of the field before. They run it between the tackles. Down to the five-yard line. Five coming up. Second down and four. Play fake. Chandler, nothing but open real estate ahead of him. Touchdown! Got a nice block on the edge from Hinkle. Again, Mark, on second down, running down, they come with the naked bootleg. Florida with great recovery speed, closing speed, but that time, lose contain, and really, that was a result of an excellent call by Kenny O'Keefe, Iowa's offensive coordinator. Iowa right now with all the momentum in this football game. Playing Hawkeye football, the sixth rushing touchdown this season for Nathan Chandler. And Taking a 10-point lead. Caldwell lets it bounce at the six. Andre Caldwell brought down to the 15, a nine-yard return. Fans, media, they always want what they don't have. <laughs> and the fact that Steve Spurrier is not here, a lot of people are talking about him coming back. Holy, he said, boss, you got to get me a cell phone that works in the shower so I can call recruits 24-7. That pass almost intercepted by Sean Considine. Third down and 10. Leak, forced to run. And nowhere to go, falling at the 17-yard line last year. And Iowa with four block punts on the season. Wilbur gets off a low-line drive, but Ochoa fields at the 38. And they're going to whistle him down. First down and 10, though, right now for Iowa. And Nathan Chandler has a hot hand offensively. Hands it off to Fred Russell. And Russell is tackled at the 40-yard line. Nine and three overall. Take the counter to Russell. And hit the tight end, Eric Jensen. Lost a lot of great football players off last year's football team. Chandler keeps it in an attempt to get the first down. Basically just falling forward. And it's a good way to begin the new year. I'll tell you what, I teach you up for that. <laughs> tight end formation, Jensen and Jackson, the tight ends. <laughs> Fred Russell out to the 50-yard line. Coach. Chris Doyle has had a big impact on this program. Second and nine, Jermell Lewis into the boundary. Nice run down to the 43-yard line. Channing Crowder finally pushing him out of bounds. Well, Mark, obviously, he had spent time in the NFL under Bill Belichick at the Cleveland Browns, then went on to the Baltimore Ravens, so he's been in that league. Looked like a loose ball and a fumble down there on third and short. Bad break for the Hawkeyes offensively with five minutes to go here. In the first half, forces them to punt this football. Ewan Ratliff suspended for the beginning of this game. Back to get the punt for Florida. Bradley. And this one's going to be down at about the five yard line. Points for Iowa. Faison stopped up at the five yard line. Minutes to go in the first half. And we got flags down in the field. Crew today. Half the distance, second down. A freshman quarterback in the game. Second and 13, a freshman that works tirelessly, watching a lot of film. Chris Leak out of his own end zone, incomplete and dangerously so intended for Dallas Baker. It'll be third down and 13. Third and 13. Passing out of his end zone. Leak wisely throws it away, and boy, the Hawkeyes are stunting and confronting that Gator offense. That's three consecutive three and outs. He would have good field position after this Wilbur punt, and he shanks it. Wilbur's punt is away. Got a nice roll out to the 42. He's going to go against Florida. Chemistry and accountability, and went on a five-game winning streak. And right now. Facing more adversity. First down and 10. 
Fred Russell. Staying on his feet. Jamel Lewis now in a tailback for Iowa. They fake the jailbreak screen. Into the end zone. Incomplete in and out of the hands of Ed Hinkle. Third down and one. It's all about that red line right now, Mark. Third down and less than one. Fred Russell putting the pedal to the metal, getting the first down, bouncing at the 10. A little bit lethargic getting lined up. Iowa taking it to him. Boy, they got in on the snap as soon as it got into Chandler's hand. Deep. Blitz coming by the Gators. And Chandler throws it away. Jailbreak screens to Mo Brown here. Brown is in the slot. Chandler comes back the other way, incomplete. Coming from 32. This guy is cash money. Talent. So he's the perfect package. Seen a lot of comebacks in this bowl game, this outback bowl game. Ben True making the catch out by the 24. Actually, Dallas Baker that time. Great games on here late in the season. Second down and five. Leak. Matt Roth wraps him up and plants him into the turf. And derisively doing the Gator chop. That's his 12th sack of the season. And Florida now in the hurry up. That's a 31st sack defensively for Iowa. And Mark, if you're Florida, just let this clock run out. Right. So you obviously don't have to punt this football. A Third. great first half performance, excuse me by Iowa, particularly because Florida had some momentum early in this game. On the football field. Hayden kicks off. At the goal line, it's Caldwell. Andre Caldwell brought down at the 16-yard line. Let's doing a good job of mixing up the plays. Here's Leak. Oh, and they got rocked. Grant Steen rocked O.J. Small's world. Had receivers out on the play. Leak complete to the 21-yard line. That's Vernell Brown. And pass protection first. Third and five for the Gators. Leak incomplete. Some of their other playmakers' hands. And it's blocked. Wilbur had it blocked. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Iowa. Matt Malloy blocked it and recovered it. Mark, it cannot start any better if you're Iowa as we start this second half. On the flip side, it cannot be any worse for Florida. To block that punt after a three and out series, Florida has a huge mountain to climb now, Mark. It's something we've seen all year from the Hawkeyes. They're ability to block punts and come up with big plays on special teams. Hayden's kick is going to come down at about the five and dropped by Caldwell. It continues to unravel for the Gators. Breakdown right here. Joe Cohen right here, number 20, is the slot, a true freshman. Matt Malloy is the outside rusher. He is responsible to block number one in man-to-man -man protection. He just turns him loose. Matt Malloy takes the ball off the punter's foot, and right here, Jameer Roberts forces the punter out of bounds. And Matt Malloy covers, recovers the fumble for a touchdown. That has been an opportunistic Iowa team fumble. And it's recovered by Mike DeGore. Joe Cohen, a freshman on the punt team, or you go with older guys that maybe are a little more experienced. Offensive coordinator putting Chris Leak under center, putting two backs in the backfield, running play action pass. There's some play action right there for you. The pass is complete to small. Under center, more balance in your offense with the running game, going to some play action pass, less drop back. Here's Rand Carthen chopped down at the line of scrimmage by Abdul Hodge. Brooks. Pass complete, down to the 37 yard line. That's Carlos Perez. Quickly into getting those plays run at the line of scrimmage, 
Here Chris Lake takes on the quarterback sneak for the first down. So they're totally in their comfort zone right now. All they do is pick the tempo up a little bit more because he, obviously they're down by 20 points. Ron Zook uh, a little bit bewildered on the sidelines, looking for some answers. Iowa with 27 consecutive unanswered points. Marking Ben Troop, maybe the best tight end in the country so far in this football game. I don't believe he has a catch. Play pick, and Leak lofts it high, incomplete. O.J. Small is intended to receive a swift on the turf. Iowa defense is 10th in the nation in scoring defense. Stingy, Parkin having to earn those yards down to the 31-yard line. Nybauer making the stop. Stunts up front by this Iowa defensive line. Mark, they love to twist. Troop in motion. Leak almost intercepted that time by Javon Johnson in 49 yards. A nice kick by Leak. Get out to the beach. I saw Holly Rose sporting a bit of a tan these days, Bob. This is Fred Russell on the kickoff return. Great balance out to the 33-yard line. First down and 10. Chandler on the play fake. And he throws it away. That is second down and 10. Potential with play action passes. Nathan Chandler, the senior, leading the way offensively. Mo Brown in motion. Give it to Fred Russell, and he's bottled up right at the 30-yard line. It's going to be third and long. Mike Fleming making the statement for the Gator defense. Third and ten. Chandler, and it's fourth down. A nice sequence defensively for the Gators. Punt. He is one of the best in the country. Instead, it's going to be Vernell Brown. Bradley with his fourth punt. Brown's going to watch it bounce at the 37. It takes a very good Iowa roll down to the 27. Right now, Purdue trailing Georgia. First down and 10 for the Gators. Got a field goal out of the last drive. See if they can keep the momentum on their side. Rand Carthen out to the 33. He grew up in the funeral business. I did a home visit with him, and we actually did it at the funeral home when he was a senior in high school. Little Perez in motion. Leak goes through his progression and finds Parkin. And they got the first down to the 40. But undersized, that is a big, big man. Parkin with another nice run out to the 47. And Reese Davis, what do you have? Right in the uh, Big East finally getting the win last night with Boston College winning. Second down and three right here for the Gators. Leak. Nice catch and a nice tackle by Bob Sanders. I'm impressed with Florida's offense right now, Mark. I think a great job at halftime of settling this football team down. And Leak going up top has Baker. Just overthrowing him. A lease for a young quarterback. Second down and 10. Releases complete out of the backfield. And it's dropped by Faison. Leak wide open. First down to Carlos Perez. Now getting into his comfort zone, Mark. It looks like it on first and ten. Carthen. Gaping hole over the right side of that offensive line. Zook's first hire when he became head coach. Fumbled snap. And Leak falls on the loose ball way back at the 28. Takes its toll, particularly on a young guy. Bob looking at third down and long, 14 to go. Leak. Given time for Baker. Oh my goodness! He caught it! May come back. Centennial, Colorado. Third and St. Pete's to go. Leak. Nobody in the 813 area code. Your offense right now. Florida playing better. Here's Wilbur with the punt, the spiral. Uh, it goes into the end zone. And the ball, big picture. Fred Russell, the deep back out of the eye on first down and 10. Being able to run the ball today with a total of 129 yards on the ground. Brown in motion. 
Play action, Chandler on the naked bootleg, wide open, Mo Brown with one guy to beat. And he's pushed out of bounds at the 43 by Gus Scott. Design, and Iowa again, Mark, with great field position. They're going to run the ball. Freddie Russell down to the 37. So, but Mark, you have to give the defensive back an opportunity to go up and make a play on the ball. Dallas Baker inhibited Joe Von Johnson. That's about as deep as a tailback gets. He's back there almost at 10 yards. And here's the zone play. Freddie Russell finding it, feeling it, doing it, and doing it well. Touchdown, Iowa. Mark, that is too easy. Florida, too talented of a defensive front. I mean, that's a crater right there. Nobody even within five yards of Freddie Russell from the time he takes the handoff. And Florida, a disappointing defensive series. They had a chance, Mark, with their offense playing better to make a statement. That was a poor, poor defensive series for Florida. Iowa in total control now of this football game. But Evan Flo has been amazing in this game from the very beginning. Hating knocks it through, and for Fred Russell, that's his seventh rushing touchdown this season. I wonder if Purdue uh, forgot their suntan lotion. What's happened to them? Deshaun Wynn running it over the left side of the offensive line. He's 7 17. A minute later, the reality is it's 34 to 10 Iowa. So a huge momentum change. And Leak. Sack back at the 19-yard line. I better protect that red line right now because I was in those sprinter stances crowding that red line. Here's Leak. Almost picked off. Florida for the true freshman Leak. He chose the Gators. Ochoa watches it bounce. Back at the 22, Ramon Ochoa. Nice return out to the 45-yard line, a 23-yard run back. Fred Russell, the deep back. Russell scored the last time he touched the ball, not this time. Tackled at the 42. What a balanced attack by the Hawkeyes. Jensen in motion. Give us to Russell. Freddie Russell near another Iowa first down. Penalties. That was a nine-yard pickup off by Freddie Russell. Third and one. Run the counter. Russell stopped up. Right here for Kirk Frantz to go ahead and punt this football. Fourth and one. Bradley gets it off a high spiral. His fifth punt of the day. Their catch called back at the nine-yard line. Some people, but finishing on a positive. Looking for some positive out of the chance here playing in January. First and ten, Bob, the toss to Carthon. Carthon brought down at the 13-yard line. Can you do that? Yeah. <laughs> as long as he doesn't take it. <laughs> Second and seven, Snell back in the ball game, up in the air, and falling harmlessly incomplete to the turf. They worry about where to line up. They worry about reading the routes of the offensive players. Third down and seven. Leak sacked back at the four-yard line by Howard Hodges. Terrible field position for Florida all day. Running out of his end zone, Wilbur gets off a shaky punt. This game is going to stop rolling at the 43 of Florida. If you win the bowl game. Jamel Lewis in there. Chandler to a wide open Mo Brown. For that route to give up. And that 20 yard pickup sets up first and 10 from the 24. Jamel Lewis. Lewis with some hard running down to the 17. Tackled by Matt Ferrier, and that is the last play of the third period. Out of goal. Second and five. Oh, what a move by Lewis. Put the brakes on. Mark, they're going to get man to man coverage right here. Got a flag on the field. Dead ball, delay of game. Five yards, offense, third down. You have to get to the 13 yard line for the first down. Inside option dropped, and that's an incomplete pass. Teams in different sports. This one from 38. Money. This in the armed forces, both uh, abroad and domestically. 
Jackson on the return. Chad Jackson. And he is struck down at the 27 yard line. And you can get some points on the board, but this game isn't really going to matter to him and his career. He's going to. He's going to be a great quarterback. He's real composed, throws an accurate ball. And last question. You just lost your coach, Dick Geron. What's the uh, word on the new coaching staff? Uh, I have no idea. Our uh, general manager handles that, and um, I just hope he, he picks a good one. Young players, they worry about themselves and their performance. He said it. Rex Chrisley doesn't have as much invested in this program yet as some older guys do, particularly like a Nathan Chandler. Bob Davey and Holly Rowe down to the field. And Florida in the pole right now, a big one. Leak falling down at the 43 yard line. It wins. We saw that graphic moments ago. The SEC winning by a 2 1 margin over the Big Ten, head to head, down deep, and intercepted at the 12 yard line by Javon Johnson. The team leader in interceptions that was intended for Carlos Perez. Leak coming up a little bit short on that one. And right there, they go to the deep post route at the top up here to Carlos Perez. Joe Von Johnson right here, Mark, a great job of looking back as he's, if he was the receiver, poorly thrown ball, he goes up and makes the play. If you're Chris Leak, throw that football a little more to the outside or a little deeper, Mark. But Joe Von Johnson in his comfort zone the whole way because he was in great coverage relationship. Russell. Russell wrapped up at the 14-yard line by Ferrier. Time now for our Outback Game Track. Iowa has been a monument to domination on both sides of the ball. Offensively. And then defensively. Bottling up the talented quarterback, Chris Lee. And in special teams, they got star 69. Call blocking on their phones. Recovery in the end zone by Malloy for the touchdown. And that's the way they started the second half. Johnson with a pick moments ago to give Iowa the ball. Nate Kading, meanwhile, speaking of special teams, with three field goals. Second and six. And Russell is bottled up back at the 13 by McDonald for those last two games. Third down and eight. Chandler completes it to Lewis. Lewis knocked out of bounds. Football team, as good a coach as you are, as good a guy as you are, the reality is you better win, <laughs> especially in Gainesville. At the 33, Ratliff flag down, and Ratliff down at the 42. Years. Bob Davey and Holly Rowe on New Year's Day here. It has been all black and yellow. Sean Wynn on the handoff, and Wynn is brought down at the 31-yard line by number 31, Matt Roth. You want Matt Roth on your side. It's that simple. This league throwing the out pattern incomplete to Carlos Perez. Physical focused practices. Leak on third down and long. Good open field tackle at the 32-yard line. There's an Iowa hat down in the field. I believe it belongs to Hodges. And Mark, I'm fourth down and six, and kind of underscores the fact that there were some senior players on the Florida team that weren't quite ready to give up their positions to some of the junior players, quarterbacks. Chandler, 13 of 24 passing, 170 yards and a touchdown. First and 10, Jermel Lewis. And Lewis is out to the 28-yard line. Pressed with his Iowa Hawkeye football team. Second down and five. Schnoor in the ball game at tailback. Nathan Chandler. In the middle of the field, all 22 players were inside those hashes. Everything was played in a box. There's Schnoor. Brought down at the 41. Now reap the rewards, Mark. 24 seniors in all, Bob. On second down and four. Another play fake. And Chandler wisely throws it away. That's for out of South Lake, Texas. Sacked back at the 32 by Travis Harris. Played in the ball game. Sometimes you wonder how much it might have affected Florida defensively. Looking for their second win collectively in the bowl season here. 
Low snap. Bradley gets off a nice high spiral. Driving Ratliff back to the 23. Ratliff brought down to the 33 yard line now in the backfield. Leak. Pass is complete to Jamel Cornelius. <laughs> First and 10. Leak. Throws a nice dart complete at the 39 to Cornelius once again. Family back home. Leak. Complete to the sideline. That one to Dallas Baker. And the backfield complete. That's Walker again. Not just about having all the best athletes, and Iowa has proven that here today. In the end, the senior leadership may be not what it should have been for this Florida team. Pass complete to small at the 25. And All these kids know how to do is work hard and be together. That's a good point, Holly. Here's Leak now. One up top for Baker. Touchdown. No offensive pass interference on that one. Dallas Baker, an imposing target out there at about 6'4", 200 pounds plus that 38-inch vertical leap. And Mark, you have to be impressed. Chris Leak, young enough, he's just going to keep on playing regardless of what the score is. And I, every snap he takes now is about next year in the future. And he was 7 of 7 on that drive. And 10 different receivers now have caught passes for the Florida Gators. Extra point is good. It still uses that square toe. Called up Mark Mosley. <laughs> and it's recovered by the Hawkeyes. Let's go. Trying to bounce back. First down and 10. Schnorr with a nice run between the tackles. He's the future quarterback for the Hawkeyes. And he hands it off to A.J. Johnson. There is some hard hitting going on still. Looks like it. Hey, it's warm. Iowa City. AJ Johnson. That's a lot to ask for me, Bob. If you and I can't have chicken wings, <laughs> maybe we'll end it. It's one of the small pleasures left, <laughs> Mark, for us. With 1.20 to go. Drew Tate now in a quarterback. And Johnson on the handoff down to the 20-yard line. It really is like a football team. And sometimes you only see the finished product, but there's a bunch of people behind the scenes that make that happen. That's that's true for sure. Our Hawkeyes going to finish up the year 10 and 3 overall. And winners here in the Outback Bowl. Got a hard run down to the 13 yard line. Kirk Ferentz with back to back double digit win seasons. He turned it around five years ago. 1 and 10, followed by 3 and 9, then 7 and 5, 11 and 2 a season ago, and now 10 and 3. He is one of the hot properties in college football coaching. And Mark, you see, it really is a business-like deal. Not a whole lot of Gatorade splashes or anything like that. This football team came down here focused and one agenda, and that was to win a football game. And congratulations to Iowa. They put on a clinic today. Florida Gators will be back. They have a talented young crew. But for Ron Zook, it's going to be about five months of agonizing until they start spring ball. And if you're Ron Zook, you want spring practice to start tomorrow so that there's some positive on which to build. Final score, 37 to 17. So the Big Ten notches its second win of the bowl season to improve to two and three overall. Purdue taking on Georgia right now, hoping to perhaps even it at three apiece and Michigan plays in the Rose Bowl against the USC final thoughts Bob real quick Mark Iowa other than giving up the one play action pass a statement game not only for this year but for their program Florida has the rebound well, coming up next, college basketball. Minnesota taking on Texas Tech. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For Bob Davey, Holly Rowe, and the rest of our talented ESPN crew, have a happy new year. So long, everybody, from Tampa.